The following is a Glass City Communications production. Cartography's requesting what? I'll have to ask Reed about that one. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll have to log this damage report. Computer, mute music. Enter! Sir, may I speak freely? Mr. Swanson, plot a course for Deep Space M2. Aye, aye, sir. Setting course 202, mark 95. Plot it and on the board, sir. Mr. Shron, lay in that course and execute warp 6. Aye, sir. The crew of the Starship Valkyrie. In peacetime or wartime. Its mission is the same as all of Starfleet. To seek out new life and new civilization. To preserve the peace and to protect the Federation. To brave the unknown in man's greatest frontier. Episode 400, Changes. Captain's Log, Stardate 9958.7. We've just departed Deep Space M2, and I'm sorry yet happy for two of my officers. Deep Space M2 was where my first officer, Andrew Miller, became a captain. He took over as captain of the USS Strasburg. He'll make a fine captain, but that leaves me with a small dilemma. Andrew asked Shrun to be his exec, so now I'm missing a first officer, a helmsman, and a second officer. I received a few new officers at our layover, but I was told to proceed to Starbase 62 and contact Commodore Harrington. At least he's an old friend. I have a new first officer for you, Ed. I know you lost both your first and second officers, so I found a first officer for you. You have no one available to promote that far in rank, and Starfleet wants Valkyrie at full complement. Don't worry, I won't stick you with a deadbeat. Aaron Michaels is a good officer. I think he'll make a good exec. He just needs some... seasoning. Seasoning? What are you getting me into, Zack? Just what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Easy, Ed. He's a good officer. I'm not concerned about that point. But he's got a small chip on his shoulders. 
His family has been in Starfleet since before the Federation, but he's the first to become an officer. I think he's let it go to his head a bit, though. If there is one person who I think can deal with him, it's you. Oh, come on, Zack. You've got... Ever since we went through the Academy together, you've been one person I can count on to be level-headed in just about any situation. Besides, you owe me. Now wait, Zack. What about Zebulon 2 back on the Roanoke? Well, okay. But you need to trust me on this. Besides, his orders have already been processed. Understood. Have him report to me on board at 1800 hours. And now you owe me one, Commodore. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce everyone today. Due to Commander Miller and Lieutenant Commander Schrun leaving for the Strasbourg, we need to make some changes to the command structure here aboard the ship. Lieutenant Commander Elberg just accepted a transfer to join the warp project going on at the Corps of Engineers. Which means Mr. Fox. Yes, Captain? Mr. Fox, you are hereby appointed to Chief Engineer along with the rank of Lieutenant Commander. Congratulations. Mr. Swanson. Yes, sir. I'm hereby assigning you full-time to Security Tactical. There is a dedicated station being installed on the bridge now instead of it being a weapons subsystem station. I know you like the navigation station also, but Starfleet is now directing that the tactical officer have that as a dedicated position. Aye, aye, sir. For the benefit of our new officers, please let me introduce the rest of our senior officers. This is Dr. Ann Ravenwood, our CMO. Lieutenant Travis Reed, our science officer, and Lieutenant Gina Bellamy, communications. Uh, that brings me to our new officers you see here, Ensign Elizabeth Adams, who is our new navigator. Thank you, Captain. Hello, everyone. And this is Lieutenant Daniel Toda, our new helmsman since Shrun's left. Sir, everyone. Mr. Toda, you better watch yourself. Shrun was a really good helmsman. Captain might expect a lot out of you. Travis, I give everyone a chance, you know that. And last but not least, our new first officer, this is Commander Aaron Michaels. Thank you, sir. Many of you have new responsibilities, but I expect all of you to do your absolute best. Everyone, please make sure you're settled in. Departures in two hours. Dismissed. Michaels, please remain here. Aye, sir. Can I help you? We haven't talked much yet. I've heard about you from Commodore Harrington and what I've read in your file. Seems to me we may have a problem. A problem, sir? I don't think so. I've got the impression you like to ride the crew. There's a time and a place for that, but on my ship, that's not all the time. I understand you're in command, Captain, but let me be honest. I've never seen a ship that couldn't improve. My job is to help improve your crew. Yes, it is, but only to a point. When that becomes a morale breaker, it's not in the best interest of the ship. Do I make myself clear on this matter, Commander? Yes, sir. I believe so. Very good, Commander. I believe you're required on the bridge, then. I want this ship ready to break orbit when those two hours are up. Aye, Captain.
Captain on the bridge. Captain, Starbase Control reports that all cargo is aboard and ready for our departure at any time. Sir, our orders are to proceed to the Epsilon stations and resupply them. Everything is aboard and on this pad for you, Captain. Mr. Reed? Science departments are ready for departure. Stellar cartography reports the new astrogator is functioning perfectly. Good, Travis. Mr. Swanson? The tactical systems and the new tactical officer are ready to roll. Course plotted out of the system and towards the nearest of the Epsilon station, sir. Excellent, Ensign. Mr. Ensign, next time you're to wait to be called on. Enough, Commander. Mr. Fox, your status, please. Bridge, engineering is ready. Intermix is set, ready for impulse at your command. Warp systems on standby. Excellent news. Mr. Toda, stand by your helm. Helm ready, sir. We are currently in our assigned orbit. Standing by. Mr. Michaels, if you would, Commander. Aye, Captain. Helm, lay in our course and proceed at half impulse. Aye, sir. Engaging now. On course, sir. Ready for warp in 30 minutes, sir. I know we've made a lot of major changes in a short time, everyone. We've saluted goodbye to Commander Miller on his promotion to captain, said goodbye to Lieutenant Commander Schrun, who became his first officer, and Mr. Elberg, who moved on to the Corps of Engineers. But, here's to our new crew and what new adventures awaits us all. Helm, steady as she goes. You've been listening to Starship Valkyrie, a Star Trek fan production. Episode 400, Changes. Starring Jerry Edwards as Captain Edward Stanfield. Mark Friedman as Commander Aaron Michaels. John Quan Yun as Lieutenant Stephen Fox. Jacob Stanford as Lieutenant Travis Reed. Dean Rogers as Lieutenant Michael Swanson. Mike Merrick as Lieutenant Daniel Toda. Alexis Waters as Dr. Ann Ravenwood. Tina Anderson as Ensign Elizabeth Adams. Andrea Carroll as a computer voice. Guest starring Tony Lunn as Commodore Zach Harrington. Michael Liebman as Commander Andrew Miller. Toby Kerfman as Lieutenant Commander Shrun. Music by Ron Jones, Jay Chataway, John Debney. Original theme music for Valkyrie by Jesse Richardson. Your announcer is Andrea Carroll. Audio play and audio mix Jerry Edwards. Executive producer Jerry Edwards. Co producers John Quan Yun and Jacob Stanford. Starship Valkyrie is based upon Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. Star Trek is a registered trademark of Viacom, CBS, and its various copyright holders. No infringement of those rights is intended. This production is for fair use and not for profit. Starship Valkyrie is a production of Glass City Communications. Stay tuned for our next episode, available for free download at StarTrekValkyrie.com and available on YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash ValkyrieNCC2590.